Hi guys, today I'm on my toy hunt right now. I'm at Walmart and they have some of the new Hatchimals Hatchababies. So these ones, they're the little koala bees or something. Um, they're Walmart exclusives. And then they have these cuties, which I think are ponies. And then, let's see, so those are the two. And then they have these ones too which those look adorable, oh my goodness. <laughs> so they have a huge end cap display as well as some of those mystery ones. Let's see um, if it has something on the, the packaging. Okay, there we go. So they have ponettes, oh, those are cute. So those are the little ponettes. Then the chi trees and then koala bees. So <laughs> the koala bees, again, are the, the Walmart exclusive ones. That's adorable. It's nice to see new larger Hatchimals. Very cute. Nice end display. <laughs> and then down the toy aisle, they have Ryan's World Toys. Um, let's see. They have a variety. There's like putty, slime, and then these little figures, which I think might be squishy. That's awesome. And he has some action figures that have little mystery ones. They look really cute. Oh, and down here, oh my goodness, they have Gus, which he's adorable and he's really soft too. So they have plushies, a little Gus gun of some sort that's really, really cute and colorful so let's see so this is the putty comes in an egg and then the slime has a little jar super cute and fun new new blind bag stuff as well awesome and further down the same aisle they have some new lock star things these larger packs those look interesting and then the pooparoos single packs I haven't seen those yet. They're pretty cute. I like the little mini charms they come with. They have this little dragon guy. Cool. And they have a panda, as well as a pig, a bunny. They look fun. The single packs are um, $4.88, which that's a cool price. And you get three of those little mini charms inside. And then they have the Pooparoo's toilets. And then they have more Smushy Mushy, the Sunny's Cafe with the little chick. That's adorable. And then the refrigerator, as well as some of the bentos. Um, I've seen pictures that, of the next new new set coming out, too, on Instagram. And then down here, they have the Squish Delish Large Jumbo Mystery Ones. It looks like these are Series 2. Jumbo blind bag stuff. Very cool. What are these? Oh, these are heavy and big. Those are like those little plastic um, squeezies things. <laughs> And then they have a Build-A-Bear, which, oh my goodness, you can stuff and sew your little plushie, and it, she has different outfits and accessories. That's pretty cute. They only have that, that kitty, and then they have more of the Pick Me Flips. Those are cool. Some LPS packs. These look new. I like the packaging. They have a lot of desserts and stuff on there. It looks like there's two different sets. One has this adorable hippo. Look how cute. With the little frosting on his head. That's cool. I like those guys a lot. They also have more of the little galaxy ones. Some of the Walmart blind capsules. These little mini pets. Cool. And then more pick me pops. Roblox are down here. They don't have too much in, in the way of LOL. They have the Under Wrap series. Um, the Num Num Slime area. Some of the new plushies. The Slime Dippers for Series 2. And then here's the Shopkins. It looks like everyone restocked their little secret lockets, which are great because for a while these were hard to find. And I've also seen pictures of a new series of those coming out, which that's exciting. <laughs> I found the little lockets, but not the, the big ones. Cool. And then Trolls, as well as um, My Little Pony. Oh, the Trolls have new little blind capsules as well. That's cute. They're like these little hanger thingies. 
So still a lot of new toys out at Walmart. And then last week we found so much at, at GameStop, which was awesome. Ooh, they even have the Hatchimals Evans calendar. Oh, look at the cute little moose dressed up. That's pretty adorable. So here's a look at the back. Very neat. And they also have a bunch of new Hatchimals play sets. There's a ton of stuff out for season four, I believe, or the new ones. They have the little mini packs, which this time they come in little, like, tiny versions of the electronic packages. That's kind of cute. And then they also have these squishies. Oh, it looks like um, they're Walmart exclusives as well. I didn't realize that. And there's three to collect. So they have that tiger one. Let's see, they have this little bird one. <laughs> and then it looks like there's going to be one more. Let me see if I can find it. And then they have this little guy. Oh, that one's cute. And they're laying on these little, like, donuts and stuff. It's actually really cute. And these are $7.97? Um, it seems a little bit pricey because they're kind of smaller squishies. Let's see how slow rising they are. So they have a decent pop-up. They feel pretty soft. But that's cute. I'm always down for new uh, store-bought squishies. And then here's a look at the action figure section, which they have these, which look really out of place next to the Five Nights at Freddy's. They're called Kitty Cones. And it has adorable packaging as a little ice cream thing. And they're erasers. Huh. You get like a little cat figure and you put them in an ice cream cone. And then, ooh, I don't know if you can get these erasers. Look how cute like some of the characters are. I don't know if it's a cartoon or what have you, but they look adorable. And then they it looks like they have these puppy ones too. Little hot dogs. <laughs> They have a variety of those. Includes six pieces. So hot pops or hot pups and the kitty cones. Those are really cute. I'm going to have to scan them and, and see how much they are as well because they definitely, um, <laughs> I don't think this is where they go. Moving on with Transformers. Ooh, they've restocked their uh, classic G1 Hot Rods, which that's awesome. So cool. Yep, they're all Hot Rod. I don't see Starscream, but I found these a couple weeks ago, and then they disappeared, and it looks like they got more in, which is very cool because to see that classic Generation 1 <laughs> toy again is just awesome. Let's see. And then moving on down, they have still some Rampage... Wrestling. Again, some pretty cool wrestling figures. Nice. And here's their older Five Nights at Freddy's section. <laughs> Walmart needs to needs to stock some new stuff, but they do have some squishmies for Five Nights at Freddy's. These are like the green series. I don't know. It does say they glow in the dark. That's interesting. And it looks like um, they are repaints of that first series. So here's a look at the package. It looks like they're all the same characters and designs. But they glow and they have a cool paint job. I think I've seen pictures um, on somewhere that they're releasing new mystery minis with that neon series like the plushies oh that's cool we have some sister location ones as well so now i'm at target and they have a ton of cutie cars and some new ones like this little pancake car okay that looks really cute <laughs> They have all the little three packs. They have this little raspberry truck. I haven't seen those ones before. Very cool. Down the action figure aisle, they still have some of the new Roblox packs. There's Lapras. 
<laughs> which I really need to pick him up. And then some other uh, Decidueye. I love the new Pokemon action figures. They have headbands. They have a cool Umbreon slap band. As well as Pichu and Espeon back there. Very cute. I like how they're putting the cards and stuff also within the action figure aisle. It's just so much to look at. And then there's Roblox. They have this little dinosaur guy. He's randomly put there. Um, and then some DuckTales. Incredibles. Mighty Beans. They have a, a big section there. As well as Zero Smashers, Grocery Gang. Gak, and then, ooh, these are uh, Nintendo Squishies, huh? They're by uh, Squish Delish. That's cool, I've never seen those before. <laughs> Neat. And then they have some of the new Wreck It Ralph um, action figures for the new movie. Ralph breaks the internet, not wrecks it, breaks it. <laughs> but those are kind of neat as well. Last week I found some mystery minis, and I'm still waiting on... There should be a sister location set of these Hero World figures. Ah, I can't find them um, at Target. They... yeah. And then on another end cap, they have these huge Pick Me Pop Surprise, Pick Me Flips... And this is the exclusive unicorn? What? Do you get the rainbow unicorn and then you have a chance of getting like smaller unicorns inside? I don't know. They look really cute and huge and fluffy. Wow. I think these are like $44.99 though. That's, that is a large plushie going on. And then down the aisle, ooh, they have some more LOL uh, Glam Glitter 3-packs. Very cool, as well as the I Spy Pets. Oh my goodness, Glam Glitter. They Everyone must have restocked those recently. They have, like, six cases going on back there, which is cool. Definitely, if you want that series, I think they're coming out with a new, like, holiday line. And then as well as the Chandelier Shoppies doll. Which is very cool. More cutie cars. They have even some of the new color change ones. That one's adorable. It has little candies for its design. Let's see. Adorables. We have some um, party pop teenies. Num noms, squishies. It seems like they have sort of a soft and slow section. More uh, pick me flips. We have this new jumbo plushie. She's cute. And some poopsie slime surprise. As well as these squish delish ones. And then some more lost kitties and stuff. Okay, and in this, like, back section, they have these cutitos. <laughs> They're like a burrito-wrapped plushie. What? They look really cute, and you can unroll them, and then you can wrap them back up. So here's some of the ones you can get. It looks so lifelike that that flour tortilla-looking thing, oh my goodness. It has, like, the shading and details on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. They look cute. And then they also have these Moji Motos. The little hamburger looks adorable. There's a cat. Let's see. There's a poop because there's always a poop now. And then a puppy. Um, but the hamburger looks awesome. <laughs> they have little faces and mouths. And then they have some of the bananas at Target too. Okay, so I am back home from my toy hunt and the rest of the video will be a brief haul in case you guys want to stick around and see what I purchased. And the first thing is humongous. I mean, if I stood it up, that's about all you'd see. But this is Gigi the Unicorn, um, the Cotton Candy series Pick Me Flips. And it's adorable. It's huge. It looks like you get a chance of finding one or two exclusive Pick Me Flips inside as well as your big unicorn. Gigi that you get. That is adorable. I think that's right. 
at least that's what the the sign says here so we'll we'll figure it out but it is so huge and soft look at that face and if the plushie is that one you get she has her little tongue sticking out so i was really happy to find that at target also, Target had a couple new cutie cars that I haven't seen before. This is the Pancake Cruiser, and I just thought that was adorable. <laughs> I love, like, all the maple syrup and butter dripping down, and, of course, you get your little teeny Shopkins inside. I want to say they had, oh, like, the raspberry truck thingy looked new as well. And then a couple of you guys mentioned that these uh, three-pack cylinders have different codes on the bottom. So I actually picked up another one with a different code. And I'm curious if you get, you know, the different dolls. Can eventually you get the whole series? That would be cool. You guys will have to let me know. I, I never realized that. Um, so that's a neat way to collect them. Instead of buying, like, a full case, can you get, like, a full set out of these three packs? Um, so I also got that at Target. And I absolutely absolutely that's what i wanted to say i love that glam glitter series that's my favorite lol series thus far so pretty i would love to get the full set of those guys and then the very last thing i purchased was at walmart and they had these um it looks like they're little eraser characters but they're called kitty cones and they even have a website and they just look adorable like you literally have a little cat figure that you shove in an ice cream cone and it has like the frosting or ice cream up top. So I'm not sure. The box had other pictures as well, but um, they just looked, they looked intriguing. I think they were like $4.97, but cute packaging. It feels rather heavy. So I think the erasers are going to be kind of large. They remind me of the little like Hello Kitty erases. So cute, cute and new. They also had like different puppy ones and blind bags. So there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do post videos every day as well as my weekly toy hunts. So I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.